Hi, Hiram here. Okay, I've already done a burn test on this low pressure side burner, a cat stove if you would. Uh, this is modification 4B where I lowered the wicks to just above the jet holes. Uh, there seems to be some confusion there. What I have them lower to the holes is so that they light the vapors coming out of the hole, out of the jets, quicker than when I had them halfway up to the top of the stove. But they're also lower so it helps heat up the alcohol to make vapors so it kind of goes around in a circle. One thing I forgot in my last test was to put a piece of carbon felt underneath it. These are real susceptible to whatever the cold surface is that will keep the alcohol from vaporizing. So I've got that underneath here. Let me go get my water prepped yet. I've got alcohol, alcohol soaking in here. I just need my water and I'll be right back for the test. I think you can see I've got camera two set up. I'm going to do it at a different angle. That's why the setup here different than what I usually do so that we can watch the flames and the time. So I'll be right back. Okay, my water setting at 60, 61. I think you can see it there moving back and forth. Let's light the stove. Turn on the timer. I'm going to do it from the lighting rather than whenever the uh, jets start to go. Again, you can see, hopefully I have this lined up. You can see that the flame from the wick is down, covering over the jets. The jets I don't think are lit yet. I should do this maybe with just the this wick and see what the flames look like. But we're already up to 70 degrees. Like I said, even if the jets aren't lit now, the flames from the wick aren't being wasted. They're heating up the pot, the stove, and the alcohol, and are there waiting for the wick, the wick to light the jets. So let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 5 minutes 32 seconds. So that was two cups of water, came to a boil, starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes 53 seconds. Room temperature is 50, oops, sorry, it might be too loud. Room temperature is 55 degrees, humidity 53, it's uh, drizzling and windy out. So let's see how long this goes to run out. Okay, the temperature's dropping now, so I'm going to call that. The flames are still burning, but the temperature dropped from 212 to 211. So let's call this at 9. Uh, let's call this at 948. Can I get it? 950, let's say. Still not dropping down more. Okay, so there it went to 210. The flames are just barely glowing. Let me go to camera, back to camera one. Okay, we're back to camera one. I wasn't watching what I was doing there, and as you can see from the timer, I shut the camera off instead of turning it on. So i got to do this part over again, uh, see if I can remember what I said. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 32 seconds with a run out of 9 minutes 50 seconds room temperature 55 degrees humidity 53 uh, it's cloudy drizzling and windy out so 
This didn't go quite as fast as I thought it would, but I've had a couple of suggestions from people for other modifications to do to it. One was add a piece. I use carbon felt underneath this kind of a burner to isolate it from cold surfaces and stuff. This is just built up because I needed it for the camera, but normally it would be down like that with the stove or burner on top of it to isolate the cold from the table or the ground from affecting the, the burner. This kind of a burner is really touchy when it comes to cold uh, because the whole thing is you're burning this, you burn it in here, it heats up the stove, heats up the alcohol which makes the vapors of course come out through the hole but if you put it on a cold surface that makes it harder for it to get the alcohol inside it to come to vapor so I put it on top of a piece of carbon felt or cardboard one of those oh, I got it packed away that right here oops sorry this thing that I use where this is a piece of cardboard that's been covered with aluminum tape I like using this one because it isolates it from the ground but it also reflects heat up so that's one thing so I've been told why don't I put a piece of carbon felt on the top of the burner when you were watching camera one where I had shooting the flames you saw that they came out and kind of came up and away from the the burner there's an area right along here that seems to be like dead air where the flames don't go so if I cut a disc of carbon felt just a little bit bigger in diameter than this which this is much bigger but just for example I could lay that on there like that and then put the pot on top of that so it would isolate the cold water from the pot from affecting the burner so that might be something I'll try next the other thing was I have small eighth inch holes in this I wanted to see what would happen with smaller holes versus the big quarter inch holes made with a paper punch this is the stove that I got from Colorado Camper the regular uh, cat stove I tried it with carbon felt in it but anyway this is a super cat stove it has much more holes here bigger and more of them a double layer of holes I could try that with this put another layer of holes underneath I have a little bit of space the fluid ounce doesn't quite come up to the holes so it would give me enough room to make another row of holes down see what that happens but it's going to be a trade-off if you get this to bring water to a boil faster it's not going to last as long till run out so where I had 5 minutes 32 seconds to come to a boil it ran out in 9 minutes 50 seconds if I made it boil in 4 minutes or whatever it probably would only last for 8 minutes or so I wonder how hard it would be I don't know if I said this yet I wonder how hard it would be see I'm trying to think of what I said last time and what I haven't said yet uh, I wonder if you could put like a brass nipple here and feed this the thing that you'd have to watch though is you didn't feed too much alcohol in it that it cooled it off but just enough as it started going down that it could keep burning it could be a real simple remote feed uh, burner stove so I think that was all I needed to cover in that from that second when I changed over to the first camera so I'll be making those changes hopefully I'm not boring you people really to death by now but you know I thank you for watching I look forward to your input your questions remarks helpful suggestions like so and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now